Today I'm going to practice locating and tracking risk through Analyze Divic Corporation. Divic was established in 2002. It has been working in the electromechanical industry, being the distributor of Daikin Vietnam. And its significant products are Daikyu and Nakami. In recent years, it received sudden growing sales rate. Therefore, it is essential to find and analyze any potential crisis. Based on the field trip to Daivik, through workshop, warehouse observation, records of the leaders and workers' interviews, I have conducted this table to list out some issues which have potential to become crisis. Fire is the first issue that Daivik should focus on since there was no instruction board inside the warehouse. While in the workshop, workers were practicing Osigas welding, surrounded by combustible objects such as wooden material shreds which were all over the ground. At that time, all fire extinguishers were under maintenance, leaving the workshop vulnerable. Moreover, the acid visibility in both workshop and warehouse were quite poor, and according to Mr. Fu, there's only one annual fire rehearsal. Consequences of fire are tremendous. The loss of logistics and facilities would lead to financial problems. Worse, it also affects employees' life and safety. On the other scope, it might be a huge tent to divert reputation. Based on health and safety executive regulations, it is important to have a long-term strategy to reduce fire starting, including housekeeping, asset visibility, more fire rehearsals and fire extinguishers, maintain and enhance fire alarm system. Secondly, safety hazards is also a big issue. The working environment for the workers is not that safe. Heavy fire extinguishers were placed on the upper floor near the cliff, ladders looked quite old, lighting in the warehouse was poor, heavy machinery, slipping material shreds on the ground. The consequences for this issue would be the workers suffer from visual fatigue, heavy injuries if the extinguishers fall down, falling off the ladders if the ladders are weak, sleeping because of material shreds when carrying heavy machinery, Prevention for this issue should be based on workplace health, safety, and welfare regulation, which consists of housekeeping, wearing protective footwear, sufficient lighting with suitable luminance, and the quality of working equipment like ladders must be based on the provision and use of work equipment regulation standards. The third issue, chemical hazards, was clearly happening in terms of inappropriate oxygen welding procedure. The workers were lack of knowledge on how to correctly place and store cylinders. The cylinders were not labeled, and the worst thing is the workers only wear a soft face mask when they were practicing oxygen welding. The issues directly affect workers' health in both short term and long term. It could make the workers' skin burn from hot metal fire sparks or suffer from eye illness, and in time it would affect the workers' respiratory system since negative dust were created by oxygen welding. To prevent the issue, first of all, the oxygen welding station must be based on the Department of Labor standards, which is illustrated in this picture. Next, guidelines from the Department of Labor must also be followed, which are protective welding equipment, correctly labeled cylinders, well-trained operators, and regularly maintained examine-related tools. According to Mr. Fu records, he stated that Daikyo could not be fake because of the expensive and exclusive shell in terms of model and structure. However, there is still the issue of fake product because Daivik is somewhat overconfident. To strengthen the issue, Google Trends show that the product name is easily misspelled. In addition, with customer lack of awareness towards air cooler products, as well as the company is still under copyright registration for Daikyo, other brands may try to fake the product and there is no way the customer would have known which is the real Daikyo. This issue would affect the brand image if the fake product quality is bad, which would lead to falling sales rate. Worse, customers might spread in the belief that Divi Corporation products quality is poor, which indirectly create opportunities for Divi competitors. Though the issue is not alarming at the moment, however, its severity is high. Therefore, it is urgent for Divic to get the official copyright and related license from the National Office of Intellectual Property of Vietnam. Afterwards, Divic should register for the anti-counterfeiting stamp from Ministry of Public Security, Vietnam Institution of Science and Criminal. Last but not least, the internal communication method of Divic is a one-way model. Mr. Fu said that the big bosses will deliver their message through email to HR department, and that department will passing it up through other head of departments and leaders via email. Finally, the leaders of the worker will deliver the message to them through speaker announcement. Moreover, there is only one annual meeting for the whole company. Consequences of this communication method is indirectly create a wall between the bosses, the leaders, and the workers. The message might become misleading or misunderstanding when it is delivered to the worker, since the procedure is quite long and ineffective. The information might be lost if the speaker announcement is not clear. Worker might get upset because they are not being listened. 
prevention plan for this issue would be important announcement should be directly delivered by big bosses through general meetings, and that we should create more feedback or hearing sessions for the workers.